world of Arad here. We have no students, this is English period. And I am actually teaching English to the students of 9 to 12 standard in English medium. Okay, so far we have seen uh, different videos. We have learned through those videos, uh, lessons and poems. Now today we will take up your another poem, third poem. Remember you have purchased six poems in this new book. Okay, so we will take up your third poem because it will be there in your first term exam. So third poem, the title of it is Keeping Quiet. Okay, see the spelling of quiet. Q-U-I-E-P. It is written by Pablo Neruda. Now Pablo Neruda in English literature, literature is again a well-known name. His real name was Bentali Ricardo Reyes Masoldo. Okay, and he was always known for using green ink. Whenever he wrote anything, he used to write it with green ink. This particular poem, as the title suggests, tells us to be quiet. Chup Rebika Bote. But what is the purpose of keeping quiet? Even when we sleep, we are quiet. But what are we doing while we are sleeping? We are doing almost nothing. But here he has a particular intention, and that's why he tells us to keep quiet. Okay? He wants us to analyze ourselves. He wants us to introspect. So when you are busy, you are in some activity, you cannot introspect, you cannot meditate. But when you are quiet, that time only you can just introspect. That's why when you go for the yoga classes or some such meditation classes, they will first ask you, he count one, two, three, four. Just be quiet. Experience the air of the room. Just listen to the noise of the fan. Listen to the sound of the auto. And gradually he, they will bring you to one particular point. Now you remember today morning when you water. You didn't feel like going to school. All those things they would just talk. And then they would bring you to a particular point. Because when you are meditating, so you don't require any sort of discipline. So first they make you very quiet. Okay, they bring your attention to the other sounds which are not important at all for you. And then they bring you to a particular point. So here Pablo Neruda's intention of asking everyone to keep quiet is the same. Because in modern world you see, in modern world it's the world of technology and science. And technology and science has given us so many things of comforts. And some people who don't get those things, they go for any illegal activity. They go for any sort of corruption. And in doing so, they want they bring the harm to their own selves. Okay. Spirituality is nil in such people. And we lose what we lose that brotherhood feeling for the other people. And Pablo Neruda wants it very much. He you don't live a selfish life. You keep quiet, introspect, and just think how selfish you have become in this world. So you need to improve. You need to create that brotherhood feeling. Okay? You need to develop that mutual understanding for your fellow beings. So yes, a particular you that you keep quiet and go for the meditation of this particular. Go for the introspection of your own self. Okay? This entire poem is written with this aim only. So I will read out the poem. Before that, I will just read out the introduction. Pay attention, students. Keeping quiet about the poet Pablo Neruda, 1904 to 1973, is the pen name of Neftali Ricardo Reyes Basoldo, who was born in the town of Peril in Chile. Okay. Neruda's poems are full of easily understood images, which are them, which make them no less beautiful. So in this image if you see, they can be easily understood by anyone. But it doesn't mean that they are the poem of the worst quality. No. Then also their his poems are very beautiful, very meaningful. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 1971. Now anyone who has won the Nobel Prize is a great man, is considered as great. Okay. In India so far, uh, in literature, uh, Rabindranath Tagore has got that Nobel Prize. Understood? So we can say over here that since he 
Indian water Nobel Prize in Water Big Factor. In this poem, Nehruda talks about the necessity of quiet introspection and creating a feeling of mutual understanding among human beings. Normally, we don't have mutual understanding. Even the family members who are living in the same house, they also don't have the mutual understanding. Then, how can we have the mutual understanding for our neighbors or the other people who are around us? But that must be there. That's what Nehruda says. If you are living in a civilized world, if you want to live in a better world, you will have this need of creating this mutual understanding. I will read out the poem, students, so you, you can understand it well. Now we will count to twelve, and we will all keep still. For once on the face of the earth, let's not speak in any language. Let's not, let's stop for one second, and not move our arms so much. It would be an exotic moment without rush, without endings. We would all be together in a sudden strangeness. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm winds, and the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hands. Okay. Those who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victory with no survivors, would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in the shade doing nothing. What I want should not be confused with total inactivity. Life is what it is about. I want no truck with death. If we were not single-minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing, perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding our life, ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death. Perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later push to be alive. Now I count up to twelve and you keep quiet and I will go. Understood students? So if you read this poem two, three times, I am sure you will definitely understand the entire meaning of it. Already I told you in my introduction. But when you read the poem that time also, you will get the better understanding of it. Okay, now I will explain to you line wise. Now we will count to 12. As I told you, when you go for the meditation of such things, you need to focus on a particular thing. So for that, you start counting. So this counting is done so that everybody can pay attention to keeping quiet. Tab tak sab log chup ho jai. Is liye he says that now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still. Okay, he includes himself also. He is not an orator, students. Logo ko nahi kulta hai, uddeshit nahi hai. Ki tum ye karo, tum ye karo, nahi hum sab karenge. I am also a part of that. So that's why he has used to be. Okay, now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still. Keep still means not moving, not making any sound at all. We will all become still. Thir ho jai hai. For once on the face of the earth, let's not speak in any language. So he doesn't want anybody to speak in any language, at least for one time in the entire world. Is it possible, student? Okay. In reality, it is not possible. But then also, the poet appeals to us. He is the boss of Lokchu Kodhyaya. कोई भी प्रकार का साउंड नहीं है, कोई मशीन का साउंड नहीं, कोई बिगल का साउंड नहीं, कोई पंची का साउंड नहीं, कोई एनिमल का साउंड नहीं, कोई ह्यूमन बीइंग्स का साउंड नहीं, कोई भी प्रकार का साउंड नहीं करना, सब चुप हो जाए, तो क्या होगा? पूरे वर्ल्ड में शांति, ये कभी पॉसिबल है नहीं स्टूडेंट, ओके? बट देन Okay, silence should be as big as an explosion. Okay, nuclear bomb ka dhaka chitna bada hota hai, itna bada silence chha hai. Subject. Okay, and not move your arms so much. The moving of your arms also can drive your attention on the other people's attention. So he wants everybody to be still. Movement bhi nahi karna. Bolna to bandhi kar do, par khaak kaya ki koi movement bhi man kar. Then only you can focus on uh, this meditation or infrastructure. Okay. It would be an exotic movement. So you see, it is not possible, I told you. Animals chupu rahe, to animals chupu rahe, to 
बट इसको लेकर ये सब चुप रहेंगे तो जो ऑटोमेटिक जहां जहां जो फिट किया है ओके टाइमर्स से डेल फिट की है वो इसको में वो अपने आप रखेंगे तो कोई ना कोई आवाज सुन रहे फाइनली देयर इज नो साउंड देयर वुड बी द साउंड ऑफ द वेव्स ऑफ द सी द साउंड ऑफ द फ्लोइंग वाटर द साउंड ऑफ द एयर वेव ऑल दिस साउंड्स विल बी देयर ओके साउंड ऑफ द फॉलिंग ऑफ द व्हील्स ये सब साउंड होंगे तो गुगल सन्नाटा छा जाए ऐसा तो पॉसिबल है ही नहीं पर अगर छा जाए तो ही सेज दैट इट वुड बी एन एक्सोटिक मोमेंट एन एक्सोटिक मींस अ वेरी स्ट्रेंज मोमेंट अनबिलीवेबल मोमेंट ओके विदाउट रश विदाउट इंजिनस तो कोई कहीं रश नहीं करता होगा कोई इंजन नहीं चलता होगा इंजन हियर मींस एनी शॉर्ट ऑफ मशीन और व्हीकल्स ओके वो भी जो कुछ हम कहेंगे वी वुड ऑल बी टुगेदर इन अ सडन स्ट्रेंजनेस सो इन दिस वास्ट ट्रैंक्विलिटी ट्रैंक्विलिटी मींस द क्वाइटनेस वी ऑल विल बी टुगेदर इतने सारे लोग एवर देखे ओके मोर देन 700 क्राउड्स एंड ऑल आर टू बी क्वाइट तो इतने जानवर भी इतने बर्ड्स भी है इतने इंसेक्ट्स भी है ऑल आर क्वाइट ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो वी विल ऑल बी टुगेदर इन दिस सडन स्ट्रेंजनेस fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales so fishermen who are going for their the uh, army bread they would also stop for that they would also not harm the whales means any type of fish they would also stop fishing for a moment okay and the men gathering salt would look at his hurt hands so those who are uh, getting salt for us they would also get some chance to look at their hurt hands all the time they are working 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 so they don't worry about their injury also but this particular moment when they keep quiet when they become still that will give them a chance to look at the injury in their hands okay now we move on to the next one those who prepare green wars wars with fire wars with uh, gas victory with no survivors would put on clean clothes and walk about with their their brothers in shed doing nothing now students this is a taunt okay taunt among all those people who are war loving okay he is addressing all those people those who prepare green wars unki baat ki gayi green wars means those who are exploiting the natures who are having a war against against the environment they are spoiling the environment by cutting the trees deforestation by over mining ye jo karte hain in logo ki baat ki gayi and he also talks about the people who are fighting the wars with gas okay ye in the gaseous form in any chemical through any chemical weapons or wars with fire fire means the bombs ammunition arms and ammunition bombs nuclear bombs ये सब लोगों की बात की है कि ये जो लड़ने वाले हैं वो आर ट्रेडिंग वॉर्स ऑन द अर्थ ओके व्हाट व्हाट इज टॉक अबाउट दैट विक्ट्री विद नो सर्वाइवर्स दे गो फॉर द वॉर एंड दे गेट विक्ट्री आल्सो इन देयर वॉर अपने वॉर में उनको जीत भी मिलती है बट विक्ट्री विद नो सर्वाइवर्स देयर इज नो बडी टू सेलिब्रेट दिस विक्ट्री विद देम ये विक्ट्री सेलिब्रेट करने के लिए कोई बचा ही नहीं है उनके पास Understood. So and walk about with their brothers in the shed. So now they are only left over there. So what is the use of such a victory? The best victory is the one where your rival or your enemy is also alive. They are tied in chains and you are dancing and celebrating the victory. This is the best victory, students. Because your enemy cannot see you jubilant. your enemy cannot see you victorious but your enemy is only not there other people who are whom you got the victory they are only not there okay so what is the use of such a victory so such people with them then will walk with their brothers in the shed doing nothing ir wo aage karte rahenge apne group ko leke aur they are doing nothing so what is the use of such a victory so indirectly you are trying to what end this civilization directly who are trying to harm the human kind so those people are targeted over here okay what i want should not be confused with total inactivity again he comes to the point ki main jo kehna chahta hu usko usme aap confused mat ho ki 
I don't want total inactivity. I told you to stop. I told you to stop speaking. I told you to stop doing any work. I also told you to stop moving your hands. So, this is not a wrong understanding. 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 No. That quietness is required for your introspection. और वो शांति बनाए रखने के बाद तुम्हें अपने आप के सामने देखना है कि व्हाट लाइफ आर यू लीडिंग आर यू लीडिंग अ राइटियस लाइफ आर यू अ सेल्फिश पर्सन और आर यू अ रियली अ सोशल वर्कर टाइप पर्सन हु विशेष गुड ऑफ ऑल ऐसे इंसान हो कि सेल्फिश पर्सन हो ये सब को हमको देखने का होता है तो उसके लिए एक कीपिंग पॉइंट जरूरी है और कोई बोलते कि आप मुझे कहा चुप रहेगा कुछ एक्टिविटी नहीं करने की तो तो मैं थोड़ा दूर जाऊँ नो बाय कीपिंग क्वाइट आल्सो में ही वांट्स अस टू गो फॉर द एक्टिविटी ऑफ मेडिटेशन ही वांट्स अस टू गो फॉर द एक्टिविटी ऑफ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन ओके स्टूडेंट्स लाइफ इज व्हाट इट इज अबाउट सो लाइफ इज द अनदर नेम ऑफ कंटिन्यूएशन लाइफ शुड गो ऑन सो नो बडी शुड स्टॉप इवन व्हेन यू स्टॉप समथिंग शुड गो ऑन इन योर माइंड some future planning or something that's what he says he here when i stop you so you you are not stopped completely no you are doing meditation so life is going on understood i want no drug with death okay so here students you see i don't want anybody to be death like death ke jaisa bas chup ho jaye kuch kare nahi aisa mujhe koi nahi chahiye i want everybody to introspect by keeping quiet Okay. If we were not so single-minded, excuse me. If we were not so single-minded about keeping our lives moving and for what could do nothing, अगर हम इतने single-minded students नहीं होते तो क्या है? We were not so single-minded, यानी selfish about keeping our lives moving. हमारी life को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए इतने selfish नहीं होते, यानी life में अच्छे अच्छे सेल्फिश नहीं होते और एंड और वंस वुड डू नथिंग और एक जब आप कुछ भी नहीं करें तो तब क्या होगा तो दैट टाइम दिस ह्यूज साइलेंस ये बहुत बड़ा साइलेंस जो सन्नाटा में बात कर रहा हूँ दैट विल मेक अ डिफरेंस इन योर लाइफ ये सन्नाटा हमारी लाइफ में डिफरेंस पैदा करेगा बिकॉज़ नाउ वी लुक एट आवर ओन Okay, so students, here that point he wants to raise. Perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death. कि ये silence हमको एक chance देगा कि हमने या कभी हमने अपने आप को समझाई नहीं और हम क्या है हम ये गलत चीजें करके अपने आप को ही क्या देखती और करते हैं क्या है understood? Perhaps we all can teach us man everything since dead and later prove to be a lie. So earth can reach us when you sow the seeds in the earth. Okay, the seed dies and after that a new plant comes out of it. So earth can reach us this way. If you breathe, keep silence for some time and then you will be a better person. After that introspection, you will be a better person. You will realize what wrong you are doing. So you will stop doing those wrongs. Understood? So earth can only assess it as a time. When the seed is inside, it will die. उसके बाद उसमें से नया प्लांट बाहर आता है। तो हमें भी ये साइलेंस के जरिए इधर को मन देना है और फिर नया इंसान बाहर आने से बाहर आता है, जो पहले के आदमी से थोड़ा अच्छा था। Now I found the book well and to give quiet an added to. So finally also he appeals to us in the last two lines that now I found the book well and it is time to give quiet and I will go you go for the meditation, you do your introspection, look at your own self. Understood in the last two lines also. He repeats his appeal. So this poem is stood over here. I hope you have understood the poem. In my next video, we will talk about the figures of speech and the question answers of the same poem. Till then, students, stay fit, stay fine. Okay. God bless you. Have a nice day.